cute, fluffy, and small, the Maltese belongs to the dog class called the Toy Group. But make no mistake, a down-in-the-dumps Maltese suffering from a bout of doggy depression is no plaything. <laughs> Former French President Jacques Chirac discovered that for himself firsthand when he was viciously attacked by the family pooch. Veterinarians say Chirac's dog Sumo, suitably named after Japanese wrestlers, is clinically depressed and prone to, quote, vicious, unprovoked attacks. His 76-year-old owner was reportedly rushed to the emergency room and released the same day. Details of his injuries are still unknown. It sounds like this could be a neurological imbalance within the dog. I mean, it doesn't matter what breed of dog. Dogs can suffer with this, with this kind of condition. Experts say it is unlikely the pressure of having a famous and powerful owner caused Sumo's depression. But dogs in the limelight have acted out before. Princess Anne's terrier attacked two small children and then practically swallowed one of the Queen's prized corgis whole. President Bush's dog Barney, also a terrier, took a bite out of a White House reporter. So maybe the breed does matter. The Clintons had a sweet Labrador, as does Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin. Good dogs can go bad and get sad. Here in the UK, there are an estimated 600,000 depressed dogs opening up a new drug market, Puppy Prozac, beef flavored. Americans spend more than $15 million a year on behavior modifying drugs for their dogs. They do come with side effects. I do find that a lot of veterinarians can be quite pill happy, that they will just give pills to the dog without um, addressing why the dog is doing what it's doing. Sometimes an anxious, high-paced environment can be a problem for dogs. Oh. Food for thought for the Obamas, who, to their credit, seem to already appreciate the gravity of their puppy decision. For today, Stephanie Gosk, NBC News, London.